Hey my Pilates people, welcome to my channel Connect and Move. My name is Jessica. Today we are going to be going through a lower body focused reformer flow. All right, so um, you don't need any props, no box, um, maybe a pad for kneeling. We're not gonna do a whole lot today. And also too, we won't be doing any standing on the carriage. We'll be standing to the side and maybe inside the frame, but no standing on the carriage, lower body focus today. So if that sounds like what you're into or what you need to, or what you need today, then um, let's get started. Um, we're gonna be starting with a medium, a heavy, and a light spring. So three springs, medium, heavy, and a light for balanced body. For me, that is a red, blue, and a green. Please honor your body. If you need to make adjustments for your body, your equipment, spring changes, adjusting you know, your stance position, right? please take right, those options for you. All right, so once you have your spring set up and you're ready to go, let's go ahead and start lying down. All right, so lying down on your carriage, make sure that you are centered, all right? So maybe do a quick check to see that the spacing on the sides of your hips um, are the same on each side. Let's go ahead and place the heels on hip socket distance apart and take a moment to just find some length out through the crown of your head and down through your tailbone. Feel the reach out through the arms, the rolling of the chest open, so maybe the entire back of the arms could connect to the mat. Find a strong flex of your feet. Exhale out all of your breath here. And then inhale in that neutral spine, press the carriage all the way out, and then exhale, pull yourself home. Inhale takes you out, exhale pulls you home. So for the first few reps, right, just check in to see that your dominant side isn't kicking on more than your other side, right? There's equal weight down through those heels and through your right and your left side. Crown of the head stays reaching to the wall behind you. All right, remember those springs, they wanna compress you, right? So we're fighting for length. We have two. And last one, press it all the way out and hold here. Again, equal weight right through the center of your heels. Now keeping your feet flexed, I want you to curl the toes and then lift the toes. We curl the toes and then lift the toes. Curl the toes, almost like I gave you a pencil to hold or like you're making a fist with your feet. We have three and two. And one, keep the toes curled, but now pull the tops of your feet back to your shins even more, right? Keep holding onto those imaginary pencils and now bend your knees, bring the carriage home, keep pulling the tops of the feet back and then press it back out. Pull the tops of the feet back and then press it out. All right, so for me personally, I am feeling it like crazy in the tops of my feet and my shin bones right now. My toes want to pull back so bad, right? But I want to challenge you to keep them curled under or over, however you want to look at it. A lot of times with the toes pulling back, right? It kind of gives us this false sensation of flexing at the ankle, right? <laughs> But here we take away the toes and now we're really coming from the ankle, okay? We have two, hang in there with me. And last one, drag it all the way into the stopper. Ooh, and then just wiggle out those toes. Let's come down to the arches. Make sure your headrest is all the way down here, pretty please. We're just gonna do a baby, baby bridge. So hip socket distance apart, arms are weighted into the mat. Take a big breath in, and then on your exhale, curl the tailbone under and find a little hover. So the butt cheeks might still be touching, that's okay, but make sure the ribs are bolted into the mat, and then roll the last couple vertebrae down. Let's do that again. On your exhale, tilt your pubic bone back, little tiny booty hover, and now keep the hover, and now press the carriage out, and then pull the carriage in. So I know I said booty hover, but think more tailbone hover. Again, because the, the booty might actually be touching the mat. That is okay. And what I want you finding, or really focusing on here, is pubic bone to your navel the whole time and finding your butt crease muscles. So even if you're not feeling them, imagine that those are what's keeping that pelvis curling back. 
and maybe even feel the back of the legs kick on a little bit. Check your neck, check your shoulders. You have three and two. And last one, bring the carriage in halfway. Carriage is going to stay crazy, crazy still. Roll the last few vertebrae down, release the tailbone, and then curl your tailbone back off. Roll the tailbone back down. Remember, ribs stay into the mat the entire time. And then roll the hips back up. How quiet can you keep the carriage here? Remember, inner thighs are at the party, right? For me, like, I don't know what my right leg is doing. It's just starting to wander out to the side a little bit. And hopefully you're starting to feel like that, this kind of warming up sensation in the back body. Last one here, roll that tailbone up off of the mat, press the carriage out one last time. I don't care if legs go straight or not. Pull the carriage all the way into the stopper and then roll those last few vertebrae all the way down. Awesome, let's come down to the toes now. Hip socket distance apart. Think of keeping your heels still in space. So they're not crazy high, they're not crazy low. They're somewhere in the middle. All right, on your next inhale, press the carriage out, and then exhale, pull yourself home. Inhale presses you out, exhale pulls you home. Even though your heels are not together, I want you to think of there being like magnetic energy between them. And hopefully that'll assist with keeping that balanced weight across your toe pads. Let's do three and two and one. Press the carriage all the way out. All right, keep equal weight into your hips and your upper body. Bring your right leg up into tabletop, bend your left knee, and then press the carriage back out. All right, little single leg action here. Once again, we're trying to keep that left heel still in space. So maybe every now and then you just gotta pick your head up and just look at it. So it's as if, right, if you were standing up and doing this, there might be like a little ball underneath your heel and you're just holding it at a little hover right over that ball. Let's do three and two. And last one, bring the carriage in halfway, hold here. Little pulses out an inch and in an inch. Even though the legs are split, we are still working that inner thigh line, all right? So both kneecaps should be looking right up to the ceiling. Ooh, and right when I said that, I felt my inner thigh kick on a little bit more. We've got three and two and one. Press it all the way out. Right foot comes down, smooth like butter. Left leg comes up. Find that, again, weight is equal through your torso. Bend your right knee, carriage comes home, and then press it out. Now, while you're thinking about all these thousand things that I'm giving you, right, make sure there's no tension in your neck. Arms are still weighted down into the mat as if you were doing just a constant chest expansion. And then just check in with that right heel, still see that it is still in space. Left leg is just along for the ride. Each time the leg goes straight, think of the top of that thigh just lengthening and opening up. Let's do four. I can definitely tell that left leg is weaker than this leg. And two. And last one, press the carriage all the way out. Toes, or both sets of toes come on. Keep the legs straight, drive the heels under the foot bar, so actively flex your feet here, and then lift the heels up. Toes stay reaching up and over, heels press down and under, and then lift the heels up. Find this sensation of like back of the legs and heels dragging across the floor as your heels lift and lower. And then again, there's that magnetic energy between your inner ankle bones. Let's do three. And two. And last one, hold the heels lifted. Drop your right heel under as your left knee bends. I say drop, but it's an active flex. 
and then lift up into high heels, left heel under, right knee bends. So start to prance or run, whatever you want to call it here. How fast can you go while keeping the pelvis stable? So it's a point and a flex and a point and a flex. That flex is going to give you a deeper stretch in the back of the leg or the back of the heel there for four and three and two and one. Lift both heels up, bend the knees, come all the way home. Once again, make sure that headrest is down. Let's go heels on, but take them wide. Like maybe the width of the um, foot bar or maybe like shoulder width is distance apart. So knees are a little bit externally rotated because we're in the wide position. Press down into the arms, keep the carriage in, take a big breath in. And then on your exhale, you're gonna peel the hips up off of the mat. Find the top of your bridge today and pause. Think pubic bone higher than your two hip points equal weight between your right and your left leg and now press the carriage out and then pull the carriage in inhale takes you out exhale pull yourself in try to limit the dropping of the pelvis down almost like you had a, a candle right underneath your booty all right so keep lifting up right we don't want to burn the pants <sighs> chest is soft we have two and last one, bring the carriage all the way into the stopper hold here. Bring the knees together all the way together and then open the knees wide. Bring the knees together, open the knees wide. Knees together, open the knees wide. You wanna make things harder, arms can always go up to the ceiling. I want you to find the outside of your hips and then your inner thighs, right? We're going from external rotation to internal rotation. Hips there, stay level. Last one. Bring the knees together, knees stay together. Lower the hips down a little bit and then back up. Down a little bit and back up. So think of your backside, I guess, like really firing up right now. I was gonna say something else, but I'm just feeling so many things. Kind of took the words out of my mouth there. Keep going, keep going. That tailbone should be wheeling up and over the pelvis for three and two. Keep those knees together. Last one, open the knees back wide again and then just roll down through your spine, roll down, roll down. All right, take a moment here. You can hug the knees into your chest or just kind of swish the legs or knees back and forth. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and rock and roll you up to a seated position. And then we're gonna come down to one medium spring. So once you have that one medium spring on, grab your knee pad if you need. And I'm gonna place my hands on the shoulder blocks and my knees are about hip socket distance apart. I'm now gonna place my right toes up onto that foot bar, okay? So if at any point being on the hands is too much, you can always come down to your forearms here, right? No worries. So I want you to press the carriage out, hold here. So you're in this kind of plank position with your spine, your ribs are lifted up and your left hip is over your left knee. My right leg is straight. I'm gonna flex that foot and now lift the heel and then bend the knee back in. So I'm gonna press it out, hip stay square, flex the foot, lift the heel, bend the knee, come all the way in. And now your left shin Press it down into the mat. It also should take off some pressure of the knee. Make sure that right hip stays reaching down towards the floor, right? So we're not opening it up just yet. Let's do three, flex and point and bend back in. This is two, neckline is long, arms are active. And last one, we flex, we point, we bring it back in. I'm now gonna come down onto my left elbow. Left elbow, I like it up against the shoulder block. Some people like to go onto the headrest. 
you do you. My right hand is now onto the carriage, okay? So both elbows are bent. I'm gonna twist my body to the right a little bit. I'm gonna open up that hip. I'm gonna take my whole foot onto the foot bar, okay? So my toes are facing this wall right here or the window. Press the carriage out and hold here, okay? So I really want you to think of your top leg spiraling out in the socket, meaning think of it just going into a strong external rotation. And now bend the knee, bring the carriage home, and then press it back out. Now this whole time, there's a lot of work happening in that bottom hip, right? Your left hip right now. So think of it staying stable. And you're really finding the, I guess this, this contraction on your right outside of your hip here. Let's do three and two and one. Bring the carriage all the way in. You're gonna stay in this same position, but now extend your right leg out over the foot bar. Lower it down and then lift it up. We lower it and lift it. There is no change in the shape of your spine right now. Gaze is just forward. We've got three and two and one. Now hold the leg lifted. I want you to bring it back like you're tapping it on the back end of that foot bar or maybe you go past it. Lift the leg up at rainbows and then goes to the other side of the foot bar. It lifts up, draws a big old rainbow, goes back around to the other side, and then lift back up. Now, I don't know about you, but my standing hip here, my left hip, is really talking to me. In fact, a lot more than my right leg. Let's do three. Reach that leg across the room. And two, check your neck, check your shoulders. Last one, lift that leg up and over. And now bring it center, hold here. Lift it up higher than you ever thought before. And now give me little pulses. Little pulses up, 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 up for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the leg down. We have another side. So come back kneeling, upper body in that same position. Left toes are on. Make sure that left or your right hip is over your right knee. Press the carriage out. We hold here, we flex that foot, we point the toes, we bend the knee, bring the carriage home. Now when we're doing this flex and point with your foot, make sure that it's truly coming from the ankle. Like right now I can feel that my bottom leg is wanting to like press the carriage out a little bit. So like a lot of things in Pilates, right? It's not really what's moving, it's what's not moving. And make sure that left hip is just steady, kind of drawing down to the floor. It's very tempting to want to open it up. All right, we'll get there. And if you're not really feeling a whole lot here, which is fine, right? Maybe just think about squeezing that left butt cheek a little bit as you go out. And that also might just help to stabilize things as you do that point and flex. Keep those ribs lifted up into your back. We've got two. Keep pushing down through your right shin, right? Remember that one. We flex, we point, bend the knee all the way in. All right, so right elbow comes down, left hand down. I'm gonna open up my hips to you and then left toes, pointing to the camera right now. Press the carriage out, and then bend the knee, bring the carriage home. So I like to think of this as like hip opener from your push through bar. So as my carriage comes in, I'm really thinking of this knee going up to the ceiling, but trying to keep my hips relatively stacked, right? If the hips are moving all around forward and back, right, we've lost the control. Right hip stays stable. And I know we're foot, our foot is on the foot bar, so think of it just finding like as best of a tripod connection as you can. 
Let's do three and two. And last one, bring the carriage all the way in. Straighten that leg out. That's definitely my tighter one there. And then hold here. Really open up that hip to the wall in front of you. All right, and just lower the leg down and then lift it up. Keep pushing down through your right shin. The longer you think about making the leg, I, I personally feel like that's gonna help you keep the shape of your spine, right? As opposed to going extension, flexion, extension, flexion. We've got three. Ooh, that right hip is talking to me. And two. And last one, now lift it up. It goes out or back and down. Forgive me while I find my words today. Legs lift out and in front. Leg lifts, draw that big old rainbow, and then back around. Lift, spiral that leg in the hip socket, and then up and around. Keep working length out of that leg, out of that hip. Ooh, that right hip. Stay strong with me, y'all. Stay strong with me. Woo. Let's do three. This leg feels extra heavy today. And two. And last one. Lift the leg up higher than you ever thought you could. And now little pulses up, 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 up. Push down through that bottom shin like crazy, y'all. Try to get that hip right over the knee. Yep, for four and three and two and one, lower the leg down. Okie dokie. Let's have a seat on the carriage, feet on the floor, take an ankle over the knee, sit up tall and just give me a little hinge forward. So if back is flat, maybe even a little extension if you're able to and just feel a stretch down into that hip. All right, switch sides. Send your breath down into that hip there. All right, we are now gonna take all the springs off, okay? If at any point having the springs off is just too much for you, because it can get crazy real quick, I want you to put your lightest spring on. Okay, so try not to let the carriage run away from you. You're gonna step into the well. I'm gonna find a turnout here, okay? So the closer you are to the foot bar, right, it can provide a little stability if you need. It doesn't really matter where you are because we have no springs on. So I'm gonna place my right knee or shin on, okay? Already, right, be careful. So I've got a turnout here. Think of finding an equal-ish turnout. My foot's just hanging off, okay? So I'm gonna think of dropping that tailbone down and picking these hip points up to my ribs. I don't care what you do with the arms, right? You do you, okay? So I'm gonna squat down, right? So carriage is gonna slide out and I'm gonna think inner thighs, lift and pull back up, All right? I'm gonna lower down and then lift to pull back up. Again, think pubic bone forward like crazy, okay? especially for my tight people. And when I personally think of doing that, like my butt cheeks right here just really fires up. So if you've got a mirror somewhere around you, maybe see that you're in this plumb line, right? <sighs> Hi, baby. <laughs> Let's do two. I'm hoping you're feeling things. I'm hoping I was just kind of talking and taking your mind off things. Lower down into your squat here, right? You see mine's not crazy big. This standing heel, your left heel, can you lift it? And can you lower it? Can you lift it? And lower it. Everything else stays super stable. Stuff and things and stuff and things. Let's do three. And two. And last one, your pick. You wanna keep the heel lifted or lowered? I'm gonna try lift it. Gotta lower it, take the hands behind the head, push the head up and into the hands. Stay in this little squat. Side bend up and over to the right, and then lift back up. Side bend up and over to the left, and then lift back up. Carriage stays still, y'all. Inhale up and over, 
and then exhale lifts you back up inhale up and over exhale lifts you back up last one up and over to the right stack back up tall up and over to the left stack back up tall and now bring the carriage all the way in Whew. all right other side let's see if my buddha will give me space so now i'm going to turn around i'm sorry boo boo i'm sorry i know don't hate me scoot over baby give me some space okie dokie so think of your thigh and your standing foot equally turned out here drop that tailbone down and feel like you're opening up the front of your hips okie dokie so push down through that whole shin we squat down or out however you want to look at it and then pull in with those inner thighs again i don't care what you do with those arms if you wanted to have them out to the side that could act add a little extra arm element to it anybody else shaking out there now on this side i want you to think of your right hip going a little bit more forward and just see how that changes things it might mean that i just need to get better alignment you've got a strong connection down through that standing foot. So think all corners of that right foot equally weighted. We have three. I am shaking like crazy, y'all. <laughs> and two. And the last one here. All right, now hold that carriage out in your plie. Holy cannoli. All right, your, your standing heel, can you lift it? And lower it. Can you lift it? And lower it. Carriage stays quiet, y'all. Crown of the head stays lifting up to the ceiling. Let's do three. Hang in there with me. And two. And last one, can you keep the heel lifted? Interlace the webbing of the fingers, hands go behind your head. Side bend up and over to the left. And then stack back up. Side bend up and over to the right. And then back up hang in there up and over to the left and then back up head pushes back into that hand and then up again up and over bend at that bra line and then stack back up up and over to the right and then stack back up and then drag the carriage all the way in awesome all right, so now go ahead and turn around. So now it's your right leg or your, um, your reformers at your right side. I want you to place your lightest spring on. So we're still standing into the well, lightest spring. So for me, that's a yellow spring. All right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna keep my left foot on the floor. I mean, do what you gotta do to get in this position. And I'm gonna take my right heel up onto that shoulder block. Now here's where I want you to play around with foot position. So let's start with the toes facing up to the ceiling, okay? Hips are relatively square to this like wall in front of me and I've got to turn out with my standing leg. That's what I prefer. If it feels better to go parallel, you do parallel. So carriage is gonna move a little bit, all right? So I don't care what you do with the arms, I want you to squat down, keep that right leg straight and then we stand back up, so, right? You see my motion's not very big right? It might just be, I need to change this foot position. So let's go down one more time and then stand back up. Now I want you to pivot your foot to where it's kind of like a little 45, not quite all the way down, not quite all the way up. Okay. Now let's try that. So we squat down and then back up. Okay. So what a lot of people feel here is an inner thigh stretch, but also kind of a contraction, right? Cause we're trying to pull the carriage back in. I'm going to sit my hips back all right and then back up now come all the way up now i want you to turn your toes facing towards right the tv the camera whatever you're watching here and now i'm going to do it again so now i squat down hips sit back and then come all the way up right so this is your way of just kind of testing out which position you like the best so like for me i don't like this my knee is not happy here but i like the 45. so now when you come up I want you to find your favorite foot position, okay? So you find it, 
And now we're gonna do these Cossack squats, okay? Really, really good for the hips. So we squat down, booty sits back, how low can you go? And then stand back up. So we are using this strength, right, the reformer to guide us down into a deeper squat and also a deeper stretch here. And then back up. You got it, we squat down and then back up. Think of this right hip constantly drawing down to the floor because it wants to hike up, especially for my tight people. And then back up. We've got four and up, really dig your heel down. And two, and I can already feel that this is starting to loosen up a little bit. Last one, now hold in your squat, okay? Shake out the shoulders, shake out the neck. Now, this standing heel, could you lift it? And lower it. Could you lift it? You say, I gotta hold on to something. Do what you gotta do, y'all. And lift and lower it. Lift and lower it. Now, as you do this, instead of leaning forward, could you start to stack up tall? Changes things a little bit, right? You got this for three and two. And last one, place the heel down and then drag it all the way in. We have a whole nother side. So let's carefully pivot around. Do what you gotta do. Boo boo, I'm so sorry. I know, baby, I know. I love you. I love you. Don't hate me. So same thing here. I want you to pick if you want parallel or externally rotated on that standing leg. Let's start with the toes pointing up to the ceiling. Hips are relatively square. And now we're gonna squat down. And then back up. <laughs> now typically what I find with most people and even in my own body is the first few of these, they might feel a little awkward, right? Hold here, I'm gonna hold that thought. Turn that heel, that foot more at that 45 now. And now let's squat for three. But the more you do it, right, the, the easier, the easier, right, the, or the more mobile you should feel, right? That's the idea behind this. It's a great mobility move. Come up. Now you turn your toes to the wall in front of you. So now we're a little bit more in a parallel position with this leg. We squat down and then up. Again, think of your left hip going to your right inner thigh the whole time. And there's a tripod connection down through that right foot. Now for me on this side, I kind of like this position. Okay, so now I want you to pick your favorite position. Toes up, 45, 90, or front, you know what I mean. All right, so you got it. We squat down and then drag it back in, right? So those inner thighs are stretching and then they work to assist to pull that carriage back in. Drag it back in. And feel free to switch. Like right now, I feel like I wanna go back to that 45. Ooh, yes. That was a good move, right? I want you guys to explore and find the best position for your body. What works best for me may not be for you. So let's do two more here. And then up, it's almost like your ballet stretches. So lower down, all right. So get yourself sorted here. Get yourself ready for this heel lift Ooh, and lower. Immediately had to grab one of that foot bar. We lift and lower, huh. lift and lower we lift and lower now can you start to come up to a more stacked position meaning head over ribs over hips boy oh boy this side is way harder <sighs> hang in there really dig that left heel down right so it's staying active <sighs> we've got four and three, and two, and last one, place the heel down and then come all the way back up. All right, carefully step off to the side, 
bring the carriage in, shake it out. Give me a little shake out here. All right, so we've got one more thing. One more thing, hang in there with me. I'm gonna go back to a, a medium and a light. So I'm gonna take my yellow spring off for my balanced body people. I'm gonna come to a red and a blue, okay? For everybody else, medium and a light spring. If you have two lights, I would go one heavier, your heavier of your lightest. So <clears throat> I'm standing with my carriage to my left. So my right foot is on the floor. My left foot is up against the shoulder block here. So I'm gonna try to get my right leg up against the frame here. So I'm working in as much parallel as I possibly can be. I'm gonna try to connect as much of my left foot to the shoulder block as I possibly can, okay? So right here, I'm gonna feel like my tailbone is dropping and my pubic bone is going forward just a smidge. Now if you're tight, you might feel kind of a stretching sensation in the front of that left thigh, okay? All right, so again, I don't care what you do with your hands right now. Maybe find a soft bend to your standing knee, just tiny bend. And now, I want you to press the carriage back a little bit and then back in. It is a tiny, tiny movement. We press it back and then pull it in. All this is, is your bridge. This is you in a bridge doing a little pulse up and down. So focus on that left butt crease muscle, right? Firing up, that's what's pressing back to open up the front of the hip, all right? We've got two. And last one, now, right? Again, I don't care what you do with your hands, lean back a little bit, right? Think thigh stretch from your mat. Now, you keep the lean back, you press the carriage back a little bit, and then pull it in. Press it back a little bit, and pull it in. Again, keep your tailbone long, and then maybe soften through the base of the ribs a little bit more. Find your inner thighs here. We've got three, hang in there, and two. And last one. Now find a little bit of tension into the springs, okay? It doesn't have to be a lot. Your front heel, could you lift it? Oh, and lower it. Man, oh man, we lift it and lower it. Spread those toes wide on the floor. Lift and lower. Now, it might not look like I'm doing a whole lot, right, because my reformer is very high. And you might have a little bit more movement than me, right? But I am lifting that heel up. We've got two. And last one, lower down, bring the carriage in. I'm gonna take off my medium spring now. I'm gonna take it off, right? I'm gonna press the carriage all the way back, right? I'm gonna lunge down. So some of you, depending on your carriage, that knee might be hovering off the reformer. That's totally fine, all right? And then bring the carriage in, right? Do whatever you'd like with the arms and then bring the carriage in. Tripod connection down through that front foot. You got it. Let's do three and two. And last one, hold here in this lunge. Doesn't have to be all the way back or all the way in, just somewhere in the middle. What are we gonna do again? We're gonna do that heel lift. We're gonna lift it and we're gonna lower it. I love a heel lift. We lift it and lower it. The humbling heel lift. Strong connection through your back heel, y'all. Front heel lifts and it lowers. Think of that right hip spiraling back, left hip spiraling forward. Inner thighs hugging the midline of your body. You got this for three and two. And last one, lower it down, bring the carriage all the way in. We are all blessed to have a whole nother leg. Boo boo, you're in my way once again, baby. So place that heavy or your medium spring back on. So we have a medium and a light. Whew. Let's get ready for it. Boo boo, you can sit on the other side, my boy. You can sit on the other side. Oh, please don't be upset with me. I love you. I love you. All right. Right foot, shoulder block, thighs in line with one another. Left leg, hug the carriage. All right. So <clears throat> think of that tailbone dropping, that front hip or your right hip kind of lifting up to your ribs. Find that right butt crease muscle, soft bend in your standing knee, press the carriage back, and then in. Press it back, 
and in. Now, something I didn't say on the other side, what's really tempting is you wanna like lean back in it, right, to get more movement in the carriage. But the reason I have the heavy spring on is to really limit this big movement and to try and take away any opportunities for error or compensation. So it's just right from that right butt crease to press it back. And we're just standing tall. And I know I keep talking about the butt crease, but like my thigh for sure is working right now. My standing leg is working because it's a lot of spring. And I'm just talking to try and fill up the space, right? To take away the, uh, the focus on the burn here because <laughs> things are like really firing up. Let's do two. And last one. All right, bring that carriage in. You're gonna hold this long line. You're gonna lean back a little bit. Find your thigh stretch, all right? We press it back and in. Press it back and in. Right now, I'm thinking of my knee kind of reaching down and then back, almost like bicycle or almost like a pendulum, right? It reaches down and back. And that's gonna hopefully keep from going into the low back, okay? I've just got my hands around my stomach here just to feel if I'm arching. Woo, that right thigh is uh, talking to me. Let's do three. And two. And last one, bring it all the way in. Okie dokie, we take off that medium spring. We're down to the light now. You lunge back. Right now, something again I didn't say on the other side. Your front knee, I want it bent right over the center of your foot. Not behind the heel, not over the toes, right over the center. And then bring the carriage back in. It bends right over the center of the foot. And then back up. Right hip spirals forward, left hip spirals back. Right, because what wants to happen? We really want to open, right? But we're trying to stay, stay square to the wall in front of you. And then really think of hugging the midline with those inner thighs. So like right now for me, <laughs> this like teardrop muscle, this kind of inner thigh, like right above my knee area is on fire. Let's do four and three and two. And last one, you come down about halfway. All right, we're standing strong, carriage doesn't move. That front heel, could you lift it and lower it? Holy cannoli, put your hands on the foot bar if you need. It lifts and lowers. It lifts. Find those inner thighs, y'all. Right hip forward, left hip back. Fight for it. And if your hands are on the foot bar, just still keep like driving for shifting more weight into your legs as opposed to relying on your upper body. I know it's tough, y'all. These can be very, very brutal. We got three. Can you go higher for these last two? Two. I could. Ugh. Last one. Heel down. Bring it all the way in. In, 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 in. One medium spring. One medium spring. You ready for a stretch? You ready to just starfish here? I am. All right, lie down. Head rest in your comfortable position. I'm gonna take my right long loop. I'm gonna place it on my left arch. Right long loop, left arch. I'm gonna straighten the leg out. I'm gonna take my right ankle over my left knee. Now, some people like to keep the left leg straight as it just floats up and back. Right? And then some people like to bend the left knee. For me, that gives me a deeper stretch in my right hip and that's really what I'm craving right now. Or maybe you just kind of oscillate back and forth between the two. Give me one more big breath in here. Big breath out. All right. Now I'm gonna straighten my left leg. I'm gonna take my right foot 
onto the floor. So just negotiate the springs, of course. If anything, have the legs more like hugging in as opposed to out wide. So right now I'm gonna try to connect my whole right foot to the floor. And now I'm gonna let the carriage come in a little bit. Aha, uh -huh. so right now I am fighting for a stretch on the top of my right thigh. Now, could I straighten my left leg up? Nope, because I'm really tight, but I'm gonna fight for it, right? Now I'm just gonna hold on to that rope and give it a good pull. And then if you want, you can let the leg cross the body for that side of the hip stretch, but keep your right inner thigh hugging into your midline. I know I give you guys a lot of like details and cues, but I'm just trying to get you like into the deepest possible stretch or contraction, whatever it is that I, I know how to get you there. Because why not? Let's get the most out of the work. And now take the left leg up and over to the side. And now take your right leg to the outside of the frame and then find an inner thigh stretch. Ooh, they are shaky. And with your leg out there, it doesn't have to be straight. Maybe it bends. You know, here's again where you kind of explore and see where you need to go. All right, carefully bring the leg back up. And then we do the other side. Awesome work today, y'all. This was fun. We should do it again. <laughs> right leg goes out straight. Left ankle over the right knee. And then same thing here. Maybe you do bent. Maybe you do straight. Maybe it's a little bit of both. Now on this side, I want you to feel like your left hip is reaching to the foot bar. And allow your breath to just relax you here. And allow it to just open things up. All right, right leg goes straight, left foot down onto the floor. Think of the left foot going underneath the carriage. Give me a little push down into that foot. And what might also deepen the stretch is just giving yourself a little tuck of the pelvis. Like you were trying to imprint your low back into the mat. And now if you can, try to straighten that right leg if it isn't already. And now I'm gonna cross the midline. So right leg goes across the body, left inner thigh hugs in. So almost like I'm doing like a crisscross of the legs. And I'm gonna breathe here for a moment. Well, this is definitely a tighter side here. And now that right leg is gonna go out to the side and then left leg can hook around the frame. Now, if you prefer to keep it inside the well, right, you do you. Listen, you do you. Take another big expansive breath into those ribs. And then on your exhale, just give yourself one last opportunity to go a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper into that stretch. And let's carefully bring things back towards your midline. Oh, that's a heavy left leg. Take the strap off, go ahead and hang it up. And I really appreciate you being here today. I had a lot of fun doing this. I will definitely feel this tomorrow. My legs are very shaky, very wobbly. And um, I hope to see you again. Thanks, y'all.